Live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering Boomi World 19. Brought to you by Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa Martin with John Furrier. We are wrapping up two days of Boomi World 19. And I think boom is a really good word to <laughs> set up our final segment of the show. John and I are pleased to be joined by a couple of guests. To my right is Sam Choi Cadley, the founder and CEO of Manual Labor. Sam, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, happy to be here. And one of our distinguished alumni, we have Mandy <laughs> Dollywell, the CMO of Boomi. Mandy, first of all, congratulations on an awesome event. Thank this you. was our area here in the Expo Center was buzzing nonstop the last few days. We've heard from a, your C-suite, we've heard from partners, from customers. The Boomi fandom, as I said to you yesterday, is legit. Too legit to quit. But one <laughs> of the cool things is that you have a new brand identity that really want to kind of dig into because it wasn't in your face, it was really subtle but very strong. So talk to us about that and then we'll get into what Sam helped you create. Absolutely, um, that was one of the most exciting uh, aspects of the show, frankly. Um, and we deliberately decided that we were going to show, not tell. Because we wanted to anchor the community, we wanted to anchor our customers and partners in the new boomy. We're on a growth trajectory, right? That's not a secret anymore. We're no longer a secret. When they brought me in, my goal was to make us a household name. We're well on our way. First thing we had to do was go refresh the look and feel to really get us to a point where we could start to connect with the mar market in a modern way. We're a modern mil middleware platform, or as John likes to say, uh, Cloud 2.0 company, which I love, I've adopted, thank you. We, and we uh, also went to the uh, wild card baseball game, the Washington Nationals versus uh. the Milwaukee Brewers, which was dramatic. Mm -hmm. We were down close, we were wearing the boomy shirts. We, I think we were the first ones out in the wild. Yes, you were. Five thank of you. us. <laughs> Blue with the white letters and a sea of red. We, people love the shirt. They love the look. They love the brand. So it worked. It did. A lot, it of, did. A lot it of compliments. Did. It did. They loved That's it. That's great to hear. It did. Sam, you're the, you're the genius behind this. Ah. Give us the motivation, where to come from. What was the design principles? What was your thinking? Sure. Uh, you know, it's funny. It started with just a very casual conversation with Mandy. You know, when we start our work, we always ask about the brand itself, and we try and personify it so that we get a true understanding of who or what the brand would be. And so we asked Mandy, you know, if you can explain the personality of Boomi 2 or 3.0, how would you describe the personality? And just as quickly, she came up with two words, and she said, badass and swagger. And so that told us everything, right? Because it's it's a lot about as Boomi evolves, you know, they have so much to be proud of. There's so much innovation um, and solutions that they're providing. It was like, you don't need to overcomplicate the identity itself because the work and what you do is going to speak for it. And so we immediately thought about the different iterations and what the logo itself can look like because when you think about a logo, it's more than, you know, just, an image or what it looks like, it's typically the first impression that people have. And, and a lot of times you want to try and describe what you do or who you are through something that's visual. And so when you have swagger, when you are a badass, you don't have to overcomplicate what you're doing or saying. So we wanted to focus just on the name itself, especially as we're taking this new step of dropping the Dell name. Um, you know, what is, how memorable can we make the Boomi name look? So taking this idea of badass and swagger, we also injected a lot of the key benefits. So you heard a lot about the up and to the right. And so that's where, if you look at the top of the B, um, which is called the ascender, there is that beautiful angle. And so that's their, our goal of staying in the upper right corner. And you know, there's a very specific degree. So it's 30 degrees of, of that angle. And so 45 felt too, in, in a lot of ways, like too harsh. Uh, 30 felt like it was something that was achievable and attainable and you can stay up there. And so that's sort of why that you'll see that 30 degree, not only in the logo, but in a lot of the designs, even the direction of the sprites. 
there's continuity and, and repetitiveness in that. And so hopefully people will start looking at that angle and, and these shapes and you, you'll recognize Boomi for it. I'm sure the sales guys, man, you're going to take that shape and turn it straight up because they aspirational want to get more sales. 100% growth. Yeah. But, but, but it's the little things though. It's a, those are the little things. And also the eye's got the dot on there. Right. Talk about that. That seems to be an ingredient mark that pops around in other places. Is what, What's yeah. going on with the eye? So a lot of um, the equity that Boomi has in the at atmosphere was really important, and it was something that we wanted to carry through. What we asked ourselves and, and the manual labor team was, if we deconstructed the atom, what, how can we bring it back and introduce it in a new, fresh way? And so we literally deconstructed it and came back with what is sort of the nucleus. Um, changing uh, with a pop of color lets it sort of shine bright. Um, and we talked a lot about the different meanings as it's a contrast in color that almost looks like a light, but it's also this sort of beacon. You know, when we think about the growth of Boomiverse and the, the importance of the community, sort of all coming together and lighting up all of what Boomi is and how it continues to be successful. So. The two words I love, Mandy, that you chose, that you wanted Boomi's brand to become badass and swagger. Sam, I'd love to get your opinions on the, the first logo that you saw that Mandy says we want to revolutionize this, the Atom. What was your, what were the two words that you would use to describe it? I'm just curious how your mind works and sees yeah. that and goes, wow, simple. When I think about the Atom, it was very scientific and it was very technical, and I think that that speaks so much to all the solution and, and how in depth they go with both their products and, and the solutions, and so it was very obvious and it was very clear, and, and I think it communicated really well. Um, as we look to sort of modernize the brand and also sort of bring a new generation of developers and, and customers along, this was a great way for us to sort of reintroduce it. And then there's even other elements, like we're, we call it the macro atom, but you'll see there's, there's a coral and then it almost looks like there's rings around it. And it was our way of showing the energy behind the team, um, Adam's fear, the community. And so it almost vibrates if you look at it, especially against the Navy. And that was our way of sort of bringing in the life and the atom at work. Mandy, you're beaming. This is so cool. It's very, first of all, I'm Love like, this, this. is data-driven. But it's so incredible, all of the thought that went right. into designing this. I, I think this succeeded. Looking, her face yes. is about to burst. I'm so <laughs> proud. And this partnership has been incredible. Has exceeded your expectations. I mean, just going through this process of, it's not just about changing a logo. No, no not at all. No. If it is. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> this is incredibly strategic to our future. Right. Right. This is more than colors and fonts. So you guys are also wearing the, the buttons that have the B for Ooh. badass with the dot. <laughs> Thank you. So I noticed that. <laughs> boom, badass, badass, boom. Exactly. Um, you know, we hear a lot, and it was lots of the conversational AI thing, just to kind of weave in some topics, I want to get your reaction, is that data should be a living thing. So, you know, the classic brand conversation. The brand should be a living thing. Sam, I'm just to grow and, and nurture the brand. So We do. We so, say that a lot. I mean, because... Where's the, the vision going? I mean, in a lot of ways, a brand is a promise to the people that support it, right? It, we, Boomi can say, we're, this is our brand, this is our meeting, this is everything, but if, if they don't fulfill that promise, and if the community and the members and the customers and partners don't embrace that, it's just like you're standing in the woods by yourself. Uh, well, the trust isn't there. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's why we talk, we always say you have to nurture it. You have to keep it as alive in three years, five years, as it is today during Boomi World. Right. So how many different iterations did you go through? Like different... Oh. <laughs> like we're we're going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> there were nine, a ten yeah. that we paired. We met multiple conversations across the organization. This was not the, done in a vacuum. No, not right. at all. We shared across broadly. I'm not a secret keeper. And uh, even within the company, this was obviously internal confidential, but we were bringing people in to, to get opinion and make sure that there was shared ownership. What was right? the original response though, Mandy, when you came in to Boomi saying, we, I mean, I imagine that's part of why they brought you in. Was it just, yes, the brand it's is- time. Yes. Can you please <laughs> hurry up? But some people can be really passionately 
tied. It's like when you're selling a house and someone doesn't like the paint right. color. Right. Let it go. Right. But that's hard to do, especially right. if somebody's been around long right. time and they've nurtured this and they've put so much heart and soul into it. But they sounded like they were receptive knowing that we need to evolve as our customers are evolving and as our technology is evolving. Well, here's the backstory on the former logo. Um, Chris Port, our COO, who you've met and spoken to, when he ran the acquisition of Boomi way back when, is when he decided in PowerPoint, probably, sorry Chris, um, to put a Dell logo, which no longer really um, actually is, it, it no longer even follows Dell Technologies branding guidelines and a Boomi font together, and that was how Dell Boomi logo was born. So it was put into place and we ran with it. Nobody questioned it. We were too busy building an iPads right. business. <laughs> and yeah. so in comes Mandy and says, here, we're going to go do this and really up our game in the market. And one thing we should note, John mentioned the brand representation at the Nationals game the other night. There's a, a Boomi store right over by our set here that's yes. been full every time I've gone over there. And I don't know what this gentleman was trying to buy yesterday, but whatever it is, you guys were already sold out of it. So this has been a suddenly, well, there's a revenue source over here, but people want to embrace the, the proud customers, vendors, mm -hmm. partners, they're proud to wear this brand. It's It's been the that's impact great. that we've seen and just in two and a half days has been really interesting. Well, that's part number two. That's the Boomiverse. You're seeing them in action, yes. right? They're wearing it loud and proud, Yeah. right? They're they're tremendously proud of, of the accomplishments and, and the business that we're driving for them. We partner with our customers, right? And that's, that's the manifestation of of what's happening in that store. Well, Sam, congratulations to you and the team, Mandy. Uh, Thank you. It's a courage to take a branding challenge like this in a big company. Certainly Dell's involved, you got a mothership. So it works very closely with Dell Technologies as well. Congratulations. Yeah, that's why we have a Dell Technologies and business. And Badass and Swagger, also the Cube's here. You know, yes. we got, we're bringing some badass swagger as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Brand alignment, good job, different logos. Sam, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But Sam, we ha I have to, before we go, we okay. have to understand the name of your company is very intriguing. <laughs> Manual <laughs> labor, which a lot of Boomi solves, to, you know, aims to solve in terms of automation. <laughs> sure. Tell us about the name Ironically. manual labor. Exactly, as in irony. Um, so we, I am a family of immigrants. We moved over when I was four. My mom was one obsessed with Jackie Onassis in, in America, and, and my dad um, was a teacher in, in Korea. So when I was four, and I have two older sisters who were seven and nine, and she decided she wanted all of us to grow up here. And um, so we moved to America, and it's funny, I was, I think I survived on brands alone because it was, she wanted us to be immersed into everything American culture. So it was Chef Boyardee, Wonder Bread, I mean, literally Kellogg's. Fluffer Nutter, Peanut Butter. <laughs> it you was know. only American, like, iconic brands. But fast forward to that, we got here, none of us spoke English, and so my dad, and did whatever work he had to to support us. And so it was literal manual labor. It was washing dishes, it was, you know, working in a stock room, just, you know, doing whatever work he needed to do to support us. And so that's where the name manual labor comes from. It's an homage to my parents who did everything they needed to do um, to support us, to, to give us the opportunity to be educated here and, and everything, all the benefits of it. Um, and then also just in that, we learned a lot around, about just rolling up your sleeves and doing the work, um, being proud of the work you do, whether you were a teacher or a dishwasher, um, immigrant or someone who grew up here. It was more about just owning that pride um, and doing what you need to do to, to be successful. So. Wow, what a great backstory and a wonderful tribute to your past and your family. And congratulations on what you've done for Boomi. Thank you. Mandy, a continued congratulations. I'll echo what John said. This has really been outside. I can't wait for next year. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's really been an awesome event. We've had, just had nothing but positivity from customers, partners, your execs. Everybody, there. You have even more fans than when you walked in here two and a half days ago. So, thank you for spending two days with, with us. This has been incredible. Awesome. We've loved it. Learned a ton. <laughs> All right. Well, we promised you a chatty conversation. I hope we delivered. For John Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching the Cube from Boomy World 19. Thanks for watching.